YouTubers. Um, another video already. Um, this is a job I've been trying to do for ages. I just keep putting it off and putting it off. It's a simple little job. only takes a few minutes. I have two of these. BBC B Masters. Uh, retro computers. Um, I bought these on eBay from um, somebody who used to renovate these. I don't know if he still does or not. Um, but... Um, yeah, very, very good. Had a lot of fun with these. Um, the only problem with them is um, it's the advanced disk filing system. Uh, takes some getting used to. But it's a fantastic computer. Um, I prefer the BBC B Model B myself. But um, I just like retro computers. And, and I haven't done any videos about anything like that. Before you guys ask me to... To um, plug this into a monitor and um, power it up and, and, and let you see some games. At this point in time I can't do it. Uh, because the uh, gubbins that I need to do that with is packed away somewhere due to the flooding. I have no idea which box to look in, where they are, whatever it is. The room they're in, the boxes that is, is in a right old mess. So every now and again, no set time. And we'll test the batteries to see whether uh, we've caught it in time. We have to change over the BIOS batteries because they are not chargeable. See, in a modern PC these days, you would have a, a battery which you, uh, which is in the computer all the time, and when you switch on, it charges it up. Uh, on these, it has a battery to keep the BIOS settings, but it is not. A rechargeable battery and there's no facility to charge it up so you have to actually physically put batteries in so the batteries I was planning on using was one of these Duracell um, long-lasting um, these are brand new batteries I bought them yesterday and they need to be brand new because I need to be sure that they're gonna last you know so so let's get going so before we even start need to plug it in so it's got power so that when we take the batteries out that we have um, actually got um, uh, the memory in the computer has got um, power so we don't lose the settings the BIOS settings so fingers crossed we don't get a power cut because we get a power cut when we do this and um, we're knackered uh, there's a lot of fiddling around so anyway plugging it in turning on the power Making sure that the computer's got the power. Right. I don't know if you heard that. That was the um, common noise that a BBC B makes. And also the master. It's now power on. Uh, probably got um, sticky buttons. But anyway, when we open this up, that's what we got inside. I've got two exactly the same as this. Um, it's got um, a CF card arrangement um, to store games on and there's a procedure you need to go through um, to actually put the games um, on that card. Now the guy who did all of this um, did come up with um, uh, a better way, an easier way of doing it. But um, I didn't have the money at the time so I wasn't able to do anything. Right, so um, let's um, hook out the batteries and have a look. Fingers crossed that we haven't left this too long. So this is them here. Um, that one has started to leak. So it could be we're already too late. Because these have been in here a long, long time. So I'm just getting a brush. Just clean out any muck. Now I think there was a bit of um, um, acid coming out of that one. So these were starting to leak. Where's my alcohol going? You know, you tidy things away, you can't find nothing. Where's that gone? Oh, wait. Uh, let's 
suppose we can use a kitchen towel. Oh, God, you never can't find anything in this place. Simple kitchen towel has even disappeared. I've got a little bottle of alcohol somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's up there hiding away. Need to be very careful where we stick this. I just clean the terminals because um, there was something on them. I can't find my kitchen towels, but I found um, a bit of one, so that'll do. Now these were all fully refurbished before I bought them, so I wasn't needing to do anything. It takes three batteries, and these have been in here for years. So to stop us from, um, if the settings hasn't already been lost, to stop us losing them, in case we have another power cut, let's our new batteries in. Right, now I want to test the old batteries to see how much juice was left in them. I've got a funny feeling I've left this too late. So we'll stick that on DC. Come on, light up. Alright, that's on DC. So I'm just going to measure these cells just to see if there was any power left in them. I don't think there will be. Be very surprised. Yeah, that one had. That one was okay. This is the one that's been leaking. Yeah, that was okay. But that one's been leaking. So I think we caught them in time. Yeah. So, uh, yes, that one there was starting to leak. So I'll just find uh, a little baggie and put them in. Uh, we don't want acid all over the place. This should have been done ages ago. So that means now the BIOS settings are now protected. And um, I've just had a thought. I think what we need to do is we need to write on here. I didn't do this before. On a piece of paper. Uh, masking tape will do that. Do. A piece of paper or masking tape or something when the batteries were changed. Put a bit of uh, masking tape on if I can find somewhere where it would stick. Anywhere would do. Stick it on a keyboard. <sighs> Change on the 19th or the 11th. 2016. Right, that's that one done. Uh, yeah, and that's where the batteries are here. So I'm just going to get my multimeter out. I just want to make sure that um, we've got the right power at the terminal settings. Uh, Four point. 8 volts that's good enough it smells very musky in here definitely very musky if I can get um, all the bits and pieces we need I'll um, set all this up and uh, give you a little demonstration because there's a lot of games installed on this card but fortunately not all the games would work um, due to the uh, addresses they're supposed to Right, that's that, that one done. So now we can turn that one off. We can turn that one off, put the lid on, ready to go back into the cupboard where it came from. A simple little job, but very, very necessary. Right, let's have a look and see what mess the other one's in. Oh, 
here's the other one. It's a little bit yellower. The case on this is a bit more yellowy than the other one. Who knows what we're going to walk into. Yep, we still power up. Uh, oh, this one's still screwed down. So we've got to uh, unbolt it. The other one had screws as well, but we lost those. Surprise, surprise. These are very, very nice computers they are. I've had, you can have loads of fun with these. You know, 8-bit machines. You never know, I might get around to showing you my old um, faithful uh, BBC B that I bought new all them years ago. Now what's hooked up here? Something else hooked up here. There's another screw. Lifting up. Maybe this is the reason why. Now this one is exactly configured the same as the other one. Exactly. There is no difference apart from one's a bit older than the other. Got a couple of spare motherboards for these as well. Big long screws at the back, right. I forgot about that, right, that should just lift off. Here's our other one. Supposed to be stuck up underneath the um, um, supposed to be stuck up underneath on the lid. Right, here's the other one, and we're just going to do exactly the same thing. Uh, oh, there's our one of our cameras failing due to battery. So let's change the battery in our other camera. Let me find out where we put the other batteries. So we're just changing the uh, battery in the other camera. Which is easier said than done. And you can't see what you're doing. There we go. I've got plenty of spare batteries for these camcorders. So that's two flat ones we've got. Right, okay, we've reset the... Uh, camera. Let's get that sorted out. Right, okay. Right, what we do is we're actually getting these other batteries ready. Another three batteries. Right, get our screwdriver. We'll hook out these old ones. There's one. There's the other. Yeah. Now the other one, they started leaking. Just checking these. These ones, they look fine. No, they ain't looking. So we just caught that other one in time, didn't we? So it's just the same thing. Stick in the new ones. The sack is the same. Make sure you get them in the right way, of course. Oh. 
let that sit there in. So check to see what voltages we got. We should have. Nothing. So why have we got nothing? Yeah, that one's got power. That one's got power. That one's got power. But we haven't got it there. We've got a connection problem here somewhere. Just checking to see if the batteries were warm and not. Seeing if there's any voltage there without the batteries being there, which there shouldn't be, which there isn't. So let's stick them back in again. should have some voltage there. I don't understand, it doesn't, it's not showing any voltage, nothing. Nothing there at all. I've got a dodgy connector by the looks of it. That's all we need. Because this is going to be plugged in now. So it could be we've already lost the details on this one. Understand that. Don't understand that at all. Let's 
to go on the floor. Each cell is okay. Should have voltage on those two points there. Nothing. Ah, I see what the problem is. I see exactly what the problem is. I've seen it. What we need is a knife. It's a piece, little piece of plastic. Little piece of plastic sticking up here. So we'll just cut the thing away. You just said and done when you got this crappy knife. Nothing seems to want to go right, does it? Let's pull off this little piece of plastic. Little piece of plastic. And we've got the same on the other one. Exactly the same. that one. One more. Well, that should be all right. all right. Let's try that. Move those two little bits of plastic. All right. Let's see if we've got voltage there now. Yep, now we have 4.8, that's better. Little pieces of plastic on the positive side in the um, battery compartment was just holding the, um, the battery off the terminal a little bit on two of them. It's a good job I checked it, isn't it? 4.8, there we go, we've got our voltage there, which means it's now safe to turn it off. Why is it such a simple little job takes 10 times longer than it's really necessary? It drives me nuts. And I've just noticed something else in there as well. So let's, we can turn the power off now, so that we're safe. Um, I just see a bit of solder on the circuit board, looks like it's between pins. I just spotted it. Um, of course, now I've taken my eyes off it, it's gone. Where the heck was that? Just saw it. I'm going into um, Durham this afternoon. Going to pick up, uh, well I'm not going to pick up, I'm going to get my eyes tested to, to get new glasses and then when they're ready I'll pick up the new pair of glasses.
could have sworn I saw a little piece of solder going between two pins. I don't know. I'm just seeing things now. Is it a figment of my imagination? Well, I can't see anything now. Anyway, that's that job done. Press that in there on top. So uh, we need a little piece of masking tape now. Now obviously I don't know when, if, um, when I put the last batteries in where if this memory has had power to it or not. The other one has, that was fine. But don't know about this one. Because this one was configured just a little bit different from the other one. God, I get dusty. This has been in a cupboard for years. There's cat hairs in here. One of the soup has been getting up in the cupboard. I mean, this cupboard is quite high up. This hasn't been out of the cupboard since I've got Suki. That's my um, my cat. Right, okay, that's that done. You can safely remove the power on that one. And we'll put our screws back in again. Looking at the case, the top of the case is very yellowy compared to the um, bottom half. It's almost like they, they're not the same, come off the same machine. So all that caused that was, was two little tiny little pieces of plastic. Well that's that job done. I've forgotten to put inside the um, the date. I'll put it on the outside. It's probably better on the outside actually. So I'll just stick that on the bottom. Not over the label. Right on there. Our date. Forgotten that already. Right, that's that job done. A simple little job, uh, but um, these are lovely computers, they really are, if you like the 8-bit the generation. <coughs> Got a slightly faster processor than um, the BBCB has. It's not the same 6502 processor. Um, I've got um, spare 6502 processors, which um, I bought. Also, I've got um, the version of 6502 processor that was used in the um, Apple IIs. I've got that processor. I've got two of those somewhere. And also, what's what started the computer revolution off the um, the 8080s, um, the very one of the very very first um, processors to be used that was used in the Altair, uh, the Altair computer. If you want to find out about the history um, of retro computers, um, there's two films that you need to see. Uh, Micro Men, 
will tell you all about um, the relationship between um, uh, the guy who ended up running um, um, Acorn, who worked for Sir Clive Sinclair um, with um, all these various um, electronic uh, wizardry, as it were, and computers, which he got into. Um, and, the other, and the other film is um, Pirates of Silicon Valley. Uh, we'll tell you all about the history of um, Apple computers, uh, all about the relationship between um, Bill Gates and Stephen Wozniak. Stephen Wozniak still alive. Um, is a um, fantastic um, computer engineer. Uh, back in the days before um, computers were e were available to the general public, you know, they just weren't available. Um, if you're into retro computers, those two films are must-see films. We'll give you some idea. And of course, you've got um, the um, Bretchley Park. Um, um, museum, the computer museum there, um, where they're restoring uh, old computers, um, valves and relay computers. Um, the last time I looked, which was quite some time ago, there was um, uh, rebuilding from scratch the ENIAC computer. Um, but uh, there was a lot of things that um, they weren't able to do. Um, one of them was um, the memory was delay lines and they used to use mercury which is a very very toxic material right okay that's it um, I'll post this and shock you all with another video so soon and I'll see what we're going to do next because we've got loads of jobs I need to do lots of things all right take care see you later uh, thanks for watching bye for now